It's hard to know where it's all going to go with social media, but it's not going to go away. And I think, you know, as a sport, we need to fully embrace it. I enjoyed the social media discussion yesterday. I mean, a lot came out of that. We had a, a young RSX, a windsurfing girl from Italy, and for her, it's changed her life. She's, you know, she's raised her profile. She has sponsors on the back of that. It's a part of her daily routine to build her profile, to hero build. And that's a massive, massive tool. And we've not had that before in, in sport, uh, particularly in our sports. I think sailing is really visual fact. So, you know, even when you're, you're sitting on the train in the morning and you're scrolling through your Instagram, or your Facebook, and there's an incredible picture of a boat, it draws your attention. Get the audience hooked and they can stay with you for a whole race. And we see that with something like, you know, the ocean race, that people will follow it and they'll, they'll check every day, they'll check in the tracker and they're checking their feeds and, uh, you know, maybe they're watching the long form programs as well. But it's a, it's a great hook, I think, for, um, to, to bring people in to, to what is a, a really visual sport. I mean, we had Meg on the stage and, you know, I follow her on Instagram and so it was cool to, it was cool to meet her. I mean, she's prolific. It's endless what she sends out. And to me, sometimes that's interesting and sometimes it's not. But for her, it was, it was a lot about quantity. It was about keeping that presence. Uh, and I guess that's important. And, uh, you know, and, and I could see that because actually I knew who she was and I'd never met her before. But I'd seen her stories on Instagram. And, uh, you know, that was a lesson, I think, to all of us is that we got to, if we want people to engage in our story, it's got to be regular. Um, they've got to see us quite a lot and you know, we've got to make a real effort to make it powerful. You know, there is a massive investment at the very top end at uh, you know, live production. Obviously in something like Sail GP, it's, it's great sport and it's covered to the, the highest level. And I felt even for, for a general audience, for, for maybe you know, sailing uneducated audience, they got it and um, you know there was crashes and stuff going on and uh, and I think in our sport we're finding a way perhaps to, to demystify it uh, and to you know to bring in new people and, and to attract a, a wider audience. You don't necessarily need you know big cineflexes and helicopters and massive big drones but I think what you put out in my opinion anyway should should still have a quality about it and should capture the essence of your event and the characters and the people who are taking part. I spent the last 15 years in broadcasting, you know, with high production values and, and really focusing on storytelling. So it, sometimes it's, it, it's a hard pill to swallow when you see that there's no real journalism or storytelling and, and you look on social media and it's, it's all kind of the same. So that was our debate yesterday. Is social media killing the art of journalism and storytelling. It was interesting, it was heated, it was a real feeling. The quality is still important and actually the two things are, are, are complementary and let's not lose track of the fact that people want balanced news and they, they want an essence of journalism and if there's some way to incorporate that and encourage that within our sport, that's a good thing.